Hello stylers, welcome back to the Full Style E channel for another video. My name is Nadia, let's get into it. So, I was inspired by this Awake Mood patchwork denim skirt that was worn by the Karen Britchick, one of my favorite fashion content creators on YouTube. I seen her style this on her YouTube and as soon as I seen it, I had to go find it. I was in the links of the website, I was screenshotting. I needed to do what I needed to do and so I'm really excited because I instantly went to my stash of denim that I have been holding out on for a few projects I have in mind and I got started. You can hear my cat, <laughs> excuse me. So I started pulling out the denim I needed. I grabbed what I thought I can use, a few different cutouts and patches from different various denim projects that I have been doing over the past few years and collecting all of the scraps and pieces. Some of them were success, some of them failed, and I just pulled out different colors and variety and different weights of denim because I really was working with what I already had. And so I didn't want to scrap anything because of the weight of it was different. So that may have affected the over overall outlook but nevertheless so i went in with testing and figuring out how big or wide the straps needed to be i think i started off real small with like three by five um and realized that was a bit too small um however i did use those pieces because i didn't want to waste anything and then i think i went up to four by six but i finally ended with five by eight i believe was the final outcome and you can see me here just playing around with cutting the different strips out on my cutting board and then i realized hey this doesn't have to be as precise and perfect and uniform as i think it should be i think the whole idea of the skirt is that it's upcycled is patchwork it's a hodgepodge of different fabrics together and that's what i really like about it so you can see me here literally going in with a ruler and a pen and trying to cut this perfect rectangle <laughs> but i just go in and just cut a, a nice sample and just use it as a base and a lot of my denim pieces are not uniform and straight some of it's cut on the curve some of it's cut out of flat seam so no one piece is alike. No one piece is perfect and asymmetrical. So you can see me here just fitting around um, trying to get things together. I'm satisfied with the piece that I have. I just use it as a template to create more and more of the pieces. So after a few, a day or so um, of cutting out these pieces, here I am with, I don't even know how many pieces. I didn't count actually, but I'll say like 40, maybe 50 of pieces. And, and now I'm going to sit down and attempt to cut out now I'm going to sit down and attempt to lay together, patchwork all of these pieces. And I'm going to start off what will become part of my waistband. I wanted to give myself a nice fitted structure up top since I like to wear my stuff high-waisted um, to build upon. Um, and then everything else will flare and flow out and give you that, that fringy shingle look that the skirt is the, the original skirt has so i am here just laying out i have no rhyme and reason on how i am piecing these pieces together i'm not trying to match up colors i'm not trying to even match up different the different slightly variations of sizes i'm just laying them out so i can sew them um side together not trying to make them perfect not trying to put right sides together not trying to hide any edges just laying them out now certain pieces of the denim have certain characteristics like a piece of a flat fell seam or already afraid um and now i do want those things to be seen so i'll do slightly overlap some of the pieces 
or underlap because I want that edge to be seen. Once I have a nice long strip, I do go in and give it a nice good measurement. Um, this becomes obsolete because I just continue to keep the full length of it and you'll see why later in the video. Once I'm satisfied with the length, I go in and start sewing these pieces side by side, um, slightly overlapping them just to give the denim something to grip to because a lot of these ends are frayed. And I do go in with a second stitch to, again, keep the fabric from, keep the denim from fraying and then falling apart in the future. That's what I do for the first day of actually sewing pinning these all together and I do this um, three different layers till I have a nice general look of what it will look like. Once I'm satisfied with that strip, I wrap it around my waist. It's too big for my waist, but it can fit around my hips and that's the important part. I'm gonna go in with the second panel, um, attaching those individually until I have three rows that gives me a nice solid base of what this fabric, of what this skirt is going to be, become, what it's gonna look like in the end. Okay, here I am a few days later with the skirt. I'm very excited. As you can see, it fit around my waist, it fits around my hips and butt, and it's giving me the vibes. So to speed the process up, I sit down with the strips, and then this is where I get a little bit more uh, technical with how I lay it out. Um, I'm, mix I'm mixing them up. I'm putting different colors, different weights of fabric next to each other. Some strips have the same fabric in a row. Some of them don't. I want to mix in and give a little bit more variety. So right now I have three panels already on the skirt. So I go and I attach five panels in the five strips. This I end up removing and having it to be four because it's a bit too long for me. But altogether the seven panels that fits my height. I'm five five and give a little inches for the booty. The booty takes up real estate. So this is what I spend day four of this project doing. Attaching these panels together in strips, sewing the strips, and then attaching the strips to the skirt. After the pinning of the strips, like I said, I go in and I sew those to the sides of themselves. So the top edge of each strip um, just a little quick stitch back and forth, which took me so long because the denim is fraying. And then I go in and, uh, attach those. I attach those strips to the panel that's already attached to the skirt. Again, along the top edge corners. Once I have all of those attached, I go in and attach the individual rectangles to the other to the rectangle strip next to it it's kind of hard to explain i really didn't do a good job of getting it on camera but you will be able to see what i'm talking about coming up in a bit when i give you a close-up okay stylers it is two o'clock in the morning <laughs> and i'm trying to finish this skirt so that i can shoot it um i didn't get anything i did on camera so here i am explaining the skirt is technically done. Um, after I attach the strips that I was making to speed up the process, I attached them at the corners and then I went in and attached them to the, the first little mini skirt that I had. And I just continued to attach them and I did that. And then I went in and attached them at the four corners to each other. So now it's one single piece. Um, instead of being like French, um, because that's how the original skirt looked. 
and I think it's going to look a lot more structural. So it's attached together. I do need to go in and clean up like the thread, but I'm really excited for this to fray and everything. Um, after I, that took me hours, hours going through attaching all these strips and then attaching the individual rectangles to each other. And even down to the, the hem of the skirt. After I did that, I pinned in uh, what would be the closure for this skirt. And that is this um, snap facet placket that was on a old chambray denim jacket that I've had that is no longer in use, but I've kept this. So this would be the closure for that. And I'm really excited to use this because that uh, helped me with closing it different ways with the snap feature. Lastly, I wanted to test out my waistband. I seen with this off an of old pair of jeans that I had that I know that fit. And I know when I was making the number of panels that I needed, I was going to have too much for my waist, but I didn't want it to, I didn't want to like make any alterations because what I need for my waist is significantly smaller than what I need for my hips and my butt. So instead I am just going to do some pleats all all on the sides in the back. So some pleats here, a few pleats there, some pleats here. Um, I'd rather do these pleats and just sew them down. I just want to see, I'm gonna remove the waistband and I'm just gonna sew the pleats down and then I'm gonna attach the waistband. I'd rather do this than trying to gather. I, gathering denim is not fun. And because this is different weights of denim, mm, yep. Yeah. So I rather pleat it, run, um, take my twin needle and run two stitches over these pleats and make sure they're super secure. And then um, go back in and attach the waistband. So what I'm gonna be doing tomorrow on the last day the day that I'm supposed to be shooting this, I am going to sew down this placket. I am going to stitch these pleats into place and then I'm going to attach the waistband and hopefully that'll take me no more than an hour, hour and a half. And then it's done. And then it's done. I just gotta clean up all of these little, little things. All right. Here I am sewing the next day. I am sewing down those pleats that I made the night before that will help cinch in the waist and gives the necessary mileage I need to attach the waistband. After that, I clean off the edges of the front panel because I do want this to be an overlay. I do want to be able to wrap it and do it different ways. And I use some denim bias tape that I made last year when I was working on some denim bags that I never end up using. And I use that to bind the edge because I really wasn't in love with those snaps. I didn't like how different it looks from all the other denim being used. The waistband could have been a different denim because you're really not gonna see that it that much, but those snaps, that placket in the front was too different. I let myself sit on it overnight and when I got up and came back from my doctor's appointment, I didn't like it, so I switched it out. And I just simply attached that how you would normally attach bias tape, um, sandwiching no edge in between the double fold bias tape.
And with that stylers, it is the finished look. I love it. It's different. It's funky. Um, I may go in and close up the front uh, split or leave it open. I may go in and actually put in um, some snap grommet. Some grommet snaps to be able to close it better. But I love it. You guys let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Would you wear this? How would you style it? Let me know. Let's get into it in the comments.